Ward's got him. Steve Ward trying to hit Donald Square, gets the stumps knocked over. It's an important wicket for South Africa to stop the forward runs being a new batsman to the crease. The intention was clear, but the ball was just full and too quick. Donald uh, got the two successes early for South Africa. And that's uh, comprehensively bowled. Steve Ward trying to hit that one square of the wicket. And really just been beaten for pace. This four for 221. Bit of time. Oh, knocked over. Beautiful delivery. Took the leg stump. He's been very, very impressive. He's very fast. He's done the job for his captain and his team. That's his third wicket. It's great to see the stumps blasted out of the ground at the Sydney Cricket Ground. A new pace there, as we saw Peter Taylor looking to cover the offside. Goes his leg stump only fractionally, but that's enough. Left the middle and off stump standing with the bail on it. Another very important wicket. Australia now really struggling. 45 overs, 8 for 156. Yes, got him, got him, that's out caught behind. Well, there's some dispute as to whether it carried or not, and uh, it looks as if the square leg umpire is giving him out. Yes, well, Ponting stayed there. Well, that's a big wicket, and Donald's got it. He's been working very hard, and I think you can see there that he's very pleased about this. He's not been happy so far, not bowled that well, actually, but he's got a vital wicket. Well, with the naked eye, that looked like an enormous big leg cutter to me. I think it has gone away. It's good. It's got him. He's dropped it. Oh, can you believe that? Can't. I can't believe that. I don't think he picked it up. I'm sure that was a catch. It was a bit of a dolly too. It was a nice height. So two return catches have gone down. And I reckon Alan Donald, after he dropped it, said, "I never saw that." Off the leading. It's got in. What beautiful bowling. He's pitched four. He's taken leg stump. Well, what a great spell of fast bowling. And they realise they're still in with a rough chance here. They're in with a chance, all right. There's dancing in the aisles. Certainly one section of the aisles down there. The, uh, <laughs> a few South Africans out there. That's almost the new South Africa. Well, what a good delivery this was. Right up there and really no room to go at all and that hit the leg stump well you see this is what happens you get bogged down a little bit you've got to go and didn't he enjoy that one he is a good bowler this man he's better than that Tony he's one of the all-time greats Harvey didn't do bad he's seven off eight seven for 231 big cheer from uh, the crowd because uh, we've got a Victorian out there situation going here it's 9.5 overs two for 36 for the great bowler Donald his last delivery in this match. Rifles on strike. Or inside the circle. He's got He's gone! What a catch! What a catch! He's got another one of final delivery. Rifles caught behind. And it's anybody's game. You better believe it. This is unbelievable. What a bowler Donald is. I can't believe this. Well, neither can he, I don't think. But what a line he's bowled. Huge edge there. And, uh, of course, that one carried just for a second. I thought it was going to go all the way. Well, what a game this has turned out to be so far. It's still anyone's game. Have a look at this. Wide of the crease. Huge nick and a good catch, too. He's gone a long way, taking it with two hands. And so Donald comes charging down, grabs his mate, the keeper. and out yes gone straight to slip mcmillan wouldn't miss that and donald strikes latham out very good line the first wicket for that's got him big thick edge nathan astor walks dave richardson a comfortable catch that's the end of him alan donald should be happy he's got the breakthrough it was an important one to get this partnership out of the road south africa very happy with the progress so far Not very well. Alan Donald's got another one. I don't think there was a signal. He just bowled an absolute beauty. Stephen Fleming had to play at it. He's gone the cover drive a little bit early for it. It's what he's down for. Uh, isn't that great? That is a super catch. The slip field's been good though he is. 
I don't think it started to push off to go back to his left. Donald. In the air and straight to point. Johnny Rhodes accepts the chance. So just when Australia looked as though they were getting on top via Boone and Hayden, those two gentlemen are now back in the pavilion. Well, David Boone will also be disappointed with that. Usually his bread and butter. That one maybe just bounced a little bit or was a little bit slower than what he... Edged and Dave Richardson has taken the catch and Alan Donald has done the job that his skipper asked him to do. Well, that's the plan. That's why he was brought back. It's taken him a couple of overs to get the break through, but it's quite a significant wicket, that one. And that is a very important wicket, Mark War, who's just starting to pick the tempo up a little bit. Well, that's a classic delivery, actually. That's why a slip cramp should have been in there. So Donald's happy. The South Africans are delighted. The breakthrough's there. Well, big appeal there for LBW. Yes, he's got him. Straight away, Donald has struck. Jones across and in front. Donald looked as if he had that one bang on target and he is struck here. Oh yes, there we go. It wasn't quite a Yorker, but those stumps are shattered. They've gone flying all over the place. Bales in the air and Pringle on his way. Gone. Yes, off the rebound. Good effort by Donald. Sharp and straight. Catch was dropped and flew to first if he took it on the rebound. So the bold. New Zealand out for 150 in the 45th over. is the bowler. The first voice you'll hear in commentary is that of Tony Gregg. Oh, and it's got him first ball. Yes, he's got to be out. Huge appeal. My goodness, that looked as if there was a reflection there. The South Africans cannot believe it. The umpire down at that end is umpire Brian Aldridge from New Zealand. Given that first one not out, well, what a beginning that would have been. Well, Laurie, it's a very good morning. What do you think of that one? <laughs> well, I thought it moved a lot off the seam, and it looked like to me as it was a big edge there, and the wall went off the, with the wicket keeper who took it cleanly. That was David Richardson. That's a big let down for Donald. See the ball there moving away, and there's the deflection, and straight through the ball for 108. Donald the bowler. It's well bowled, close to the stumps. Very well bowled. That's brilliant bowling from Alan Donald. He's been bowling about halfway out in the bowling crease. That one, he came in very, very close to the stumps, and that would have been a deciding factor for the umpire. Well, there's a battle won here by two ex-colleagues, the English County of Warwickshire. Tom Moody trying to get away. You can see Alan Donald's delight there as, he's, as the decision comes from umpire Aldridge in his favour, trapping Tom Moody just in front of off stump. A disconsolate Moody will go back. Pavilion, yeah, Australia. If they can win the game. Bit of time. Oh, knocked over. Beautiful delivery. Took the leg stump. He's been very, very impressive. He's very fast. He's done the job for his captain and his team. That's his third wicket. And it's great to see the stumps blasted out of the ground at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Plenty of pace there, as we saw. Peter Taylor looking to cover the offside. I suppose his leg stump only fractionally, but that's enough. Left the middle and off stump standing with the bail on it. Another very important wicket. Australia now really struggling. 45 overs, 8 for 156.